In this tutorial, we'll explain how to create any shape of boxwood shrub using Forest Pack. To start, you'll just need a few essential components, a pot, some form of trunk, and of course, the shape of the topiary itself. This topiary shape can be created in any manner you choose. It simply needs to be a polygonal object with UVs. You could use a tapered cylinder, or attach spheres to a spline, or just start with a helix shape, or create something that's polymodeled. Before you proceed, it's crucial to check the object's mapping coordinates. If your geometry is based on a primitive, just enable Generate Mapping Coordinates and Real World Map Size. However, if you've modified the object, add a UV modifier and then activate Box Mapping, setting it to Real World Map Size. These steps ensure that your objects are compatible with the Forest Pack preset we'll be using. The next step is to ensure that the geometry won't render in the final image. This is easily done by navigating to the object's properties and deselecting Renderable. With these preparations complete, it's time to select a preset. Open the Forest Pack library and choose the Boxwood preset, which is designed specifically for creating hedge-like structures of any shape. Load the preset and apply it to one of your base shapes. At this point, you'll notice that it's intended for much larger hedges, so you'll need to customize it for your small topiary. To do so, go to the geometry rollout and scale down the geometry to roughly 30% of its original size using the global scale settings. However, as you can see, this will make the density of the foliage too sparse, so you'll need to adjust that next. Navigate to the distribution rollout and decrease the density setting to approximately 700 centimeters. And finally, to perfect your design, you might want to adjust the Z offset to make sure that the branches are placed well inside the object. That's almost it. But if you have multiple topiary shapes you want to create in your scene, you can do all of this from the same forest pack object. Just go to the surfaces rollout, click on the plus button, and select each of the surfaces you wish to create for a boxwood hedge. This method saves time, and any subsequent changes can be made across all objects from this single forest pack instance. As you can see, creating a custom boxwood shrub doesn't take much time, and the result can be quite satisfactory for so little work. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon for more tutorials on Forest Pack and Railclone. <laughs>